Alrighty, we're back here in the back 40 for the next part of the video. That is using this outdoors while truck camping. I'm really excited about it because we've got a trip planned to do some four wheeling in January. And that's going to be a little chilly. So I wanted to see how well this would work. So let's just dive right into it. As you can see, I've got it hooked to a battery. All right, the other thing you can see is I had to set it up on a couple of bricks. You could use blocks of wood, it wouldn't matter, because the intake for the exhaust comes in from underneath. And if that's sitting flat on the ground, it's not gonna be able to get any air. So by lifting it up three inches, I shouldn't have any issue at all. Took the vent and ran it in and let me show you you can see in here we've just run it in and back through the sliding glass window the key is to make sure that there is enough open ventilation For every cubic foot of air that comes in from the heater, it has a place to go. If it doesn't, then it causes back pressure, and that back pressure could cause the diesel heater to overheat. So, let's turn this bad boy on and see how it does. When I get us up to speed, I'll be back. All righty, she's coming up to speed. Haven't, hasn't quite leveled off yet. And I have it set on the lowest setting. So like I said earlier, it'll come all the way up to speed and then it'll back, back down. Yeah can really feel that heat coming in. <laughs> this is gonna be great. Yep, absolutely great. And with a battery, like the one I've got it hooked to, which is just a lead acid battery, it will easily run all night long, uh, maybe even two nights on one charge. Heck, maybe three nights. Once these things get up to speed and they settle down, they're only drawing maybe two amps an hour. So that's not bad, not bad at all. Hear it, hear it kicking down. You can also take, the neck. these are three inch vents. You can take a four inch and put over it here on the outside and then that'll act as another layer of insulation. So if it's really cold, like let's say we get down there and it's gonna be in the teens, even below zero, doing something like that would really help with the efficiency. The other side advantage to it is we will get residual heat off of the vent inside the cab of the truck. So that will, uh, you know, keep that fairly warm in there too. All righty. This has been a win, win, win. I, I think that uh, this was a great idea, whoever came up with it. This company ran with it, and I think it's going to be a big hit. All righty. Well, there you have it.